Hi guys, today we're going to uh, just talk about some simple computer concepts uh, as far as organizing documents on your computer. First thing I want to talk about is uh, documents and, and folders themselves. Your computer, or the part of the computer that you store all your work on, your hard drive, it's made up of files and folders. Or you might call them documents and directories. Um, but I think with the newer versions of Windows, people have gotten to the habit of calling these uh, directories folders. And that's fine. What isn't fine, though, is uh, anybody who might be a novice to computers uh, may take the file um, term in the wrong wrong sense. They might rev um, compare it to physical files in your office uh, or in your filing cabinet. And there's a big difference. Um, for instance, if uh, if you've got a uh, filing cabinet full of uh, files for your clients. Um, and say I'm one of your clients and you've got your the Allen Quant file or most likely that's not referring to a a file a piece of paper or a document it's considering or it's it's referring to the folder in which all my files or documents are in and on a computer when we talk about a file we are talking about a document we are not talking about the folder a folder is a folder or a folder is a directory where files are stored. So an easy way to maybe help you remember that is to just start calling your calling things documents and folders. Um, so hopefully that helps any of you that have that confusion. Um, let's go ahead and go to computer here and we're using Windows 7. Um, if you're savvy just enough you might be able to uh, use this tutorial on Windows Vista and Windows XP and in that case you would click on my computer. Um, but what I want to talk about here is, is a way to organize files on your computer. And let's look at your C drive here. My C drive is where I, uh, all my program files and my Windows um, software is stored. And almost everybody on a PC has a C drive or the main hard drive. Uh, nine times out of ten it's labeled the C drive. And this is where everything on your computer um, or all the software is generally stored and run. Don't be confused by all these other hard drives. I've got several hard drives here for work. Um, so we're going to use the C drive here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder on the C drive. So let's come up here and we'll click on New Folder. And we're going to call this folder My Work. What we're going to do is we're going to open this folder by double-clicking on it. And what we're going to accomplish here is I'm going to show you um, a way to organize your work uh, say you're a business owner or you, you work at a company and you've got a computer at that company and you need to store your, your documents and so this is just a, a quick example on, on how to kind of organize your work so that you can retrieve it quickly um, so let's go ahead and we're going to click a new folder again here and we're going to call this folder clients again let's click new folder and we'll call this finance and the last one We'll make a new folder and we'll call it legal. Um, and this would be more uh, geared towards maybe someone running their own business. This is a similar structure that I have for my business. And so let's start with the clients folder. This clients folder could be used to store information for every client that you work with. And what we would do is we'd come in here and, and say you get a new client. It's going to be me. I'm your new client. And we'll say new folder and we'll just call this folder by the client's name. And in this folder will be any documents um, associated with me. So for instance, let's go down here to notepad. So go to start and notepad. And we're just going to make a quick little text file that's going to store my contact information. And there you go. So let's go to File and Save. Nine times out of ten when this comes up if you're using Windows 7, it's going to open up in your Documents folder. And 
I wouldn't get in the habit of saving things directly into the documents folder because it can get a little chaotic in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the C drive here and we're going to find the My Work folder and double click on it and we're going to go to Clients, Alan Quant, and then we're just going to call this file Contact Info. And we'll go ahead and close this. So now in my folder is my uh, contact info in this little text document. Now what else you might use this folder for is storing um, any work associated with uh, this client. Say for instance uh, for my design business I might save all projects uh, that I've done for this client in here in this folder. Um, so if somebody hired me to do a logo um, or hired you say to do a logo for me you could come in here and make a new folder and call it logo and then in this folder save all the uh, the files for that logo the you know different uh, designs you may have made and, and the final design things like that and, and that way whenever you need to refer back to this clients logo project you know where it's at it's in the my work clients client name and it's going to be in that folder rather than scouring around your computer trying to figure out where in the world you saved that you know and this may seem like some extra work here you know like when we went to go save this text file we had to navigate through a couple of folders just to get to this one but in the long run you know say a year from now you've totally forgotten really who Alan Quant is you you worked with them a year ago you know and you haven't you haven't done any work since and then he calls you up out of the blue he says hey you know I'd like to get uh, my logo worked on it a little more and you know, I'd, I'd like to change the colors up or something. And you, you, you're thinking, okay, well this, you know, it's obviously one of my clients, but you're not really remembering, you know, what you did for him. So rather than scouring around your office to look for that copy of that logo that you printed out, or scouring the My Documents folder for some randomly named file, um, you know to come to My Work, Clients, and the Allen Quant folder, and that as long as you did everything the way you should here in this organization system you'd be able to find it in an instant and you could find it probably while on the phone with the client and save yourself any pause or, or trying to remember who and who and what they uh, ordered um, by just finding it very quickly uh, and likewise let's go back to the my work folder same with finance finance we could open this up and in here we could save um, copies of bills or and such um, for instance you could you know scan in all your bills copies of your cell phone bill and such for the business and you could save them in this folder here and that way anytime you need to refer back to a certain bill or or a receipt or something you'd find it in here and you could create several different folders in order to better organize that you might have a folder for cell phone you might have a folder for internet you might have a folder for the office building and such. So let's go back to here in my work. Uh, legal. This is a good folder, especially if you're a business owner like myself. Uh, every once in a while you find uh, yourself in an unfortunate situation where uh, you know a client may not understand what you were doing for them or may not be happy with what you did. Uh, it doesn't happen often, <laughs> but uh, it's good. It's good. I mean, it's a serious situation and it's good to take and package all your documents associated with that client and and save maybe a copy here in the legal folder so say I call you up a year from now and say look I don't think you you did my logo right and I I, I want my money back um, or you know or I want to take you to court so let's say when that phone call happens you come in here and and you click new folder and you call it the Alan Quant case and we open this up and you'd start saving uh, copies of your contracts with Alan Quant or um, maybe transcripts from emails uh, that you've sent back and forth you know some some proof for that case um, so you know as unfortunate as that you know having to have a legal um, folder is it, it's just an idea of uh, showing you the importance of, of organizing stuff on your computer because say this court case you know, it doesn't happen for another six months. You know, you package up all your documents and you store them in here, and then you kind of forget about it. You got to get, you know, you got to do your job. You got to run your business, and then six months comes along. It's time for your case. You need to go to court. Where's all your stuff? 
it's right here it's very easily found uh, you could tell your secretary you know hey go grab the Alan Quant case file and print up all the documents and they know exactly where it's at because you stuck to your uh, organization system um, and now furthermore I mean I'm not gonna get into too much of this hopefully you're getting the idea of what I'm talking about here um, we don't need to make folders for every you know every possible situation you might have in your personal business you can decide that for yourself the other thing I want to get into is um, naming files naming your files is very important and most programs uh, the default name that a, a program will give a file is untitled uh, and then the number a number associated with it so you know it might be untitled document one uh, say if you're making a word document and if you get in the habit of just clicking save really quick just because you're in a hurry uh, that can be bad I mean uh, before you know it you've got a folder with 50 different documents ranging from untitled 1 to untitled 50 you've got no idea what these documents are so it's really important to find a naming convention uh, that suits you and stick to it um, a lot of us developers uh, let's open up our Alan Quant file here um, you might find or uh, as a developer I've gotten in the habit of naming my files with underscores and with the uh, lower uppercase format so something like this I would not have named I would have named it like this uh, whereas the first word is always lowercase and then the, the any word after that would start with a uh, uppercase letter to kind of separate the words uh, or I might have done this so you might see that often uh, there's no particular reason anymore for this uh, underscore to be here um, but don't don't be freaked out by it that's just our way of saying uh, space uh, and before uh, some of these newer versions of Windows we used to have limitations on how long a, a file could be or a file name could be and, and you weren't allowed to use spaces in your file names and such like that so we've gotten in the habit of that so if you see that it's probably just someone who's been using computers long and has gotten in the habit of naming things that way but it's important to come up with your own naming convention however you do it um, but in a way that you can always retrieve your documents on the fly um, otherwise your computer is uh, halfway worthless if you're just dumping random untitled files everywhere um, a lot of the good benefits of a computer are lost there so hopefully that uh, this little uh, tutorial here helped out um, if you have any other ideas or, or, or thoughts um, with basic computer use like in Windows and such uh, send, send us a, a reply or a comment and, and we'll, uh, we'll try to address that in another uh, tutorial but uh, thank you